So you want to plan out your video content for your YouTube channel. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I specifically do this, how I've done it for multiple channels over the years and how I've helped other people do it. This will really help you stay consistent during the year because one of the things that I personally noticed from my own experience in getting my first million views on YouTube was that being consistent and having a bit of a plan and having video content ideas up front was the best way to stay consistent, which is what Google loves. I know it sounds really simple, but I found it way easier to grow a channel when I was consistent. I've even been teaching clients this and I noticed such a difference when they stopped or had huge gaps in between video times or you didn't upload on a certain schedule. You don't need a viral video to blow up on YouTube. You just need to be consistently consistent. <laughs> Do you think I'm emphasizing this enough? Right, so we have a plan. I'm gonna show you how I come up with a plan. So my first piece of advice is to make sure that you make your content a mix of searchable content and then stuff that you enjoy. I know that some people don't think that searchable content or doing search-based videos is that important, but this is coming from someone, me, who has videos with over 600,000 views. In in fact, my channel at the time didn't even have that many subscribers, but I was actually making money because I had my ideal clients coming to me. So that's another whole video about how people make money with the YouTube channels. Someone who's maybe got like 100,000 subscribers, but they might not be getting clients or they might not even be getting paid that much from YouTube. But again, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> but to quickly summarize, you don't need that many subscribers if you are doing searchable content and creating videos for your ideal client, that is exactly what they want. Now, I love using digital planners and all that kind of stuff, but for me personally, I am like a kinesthetic person, which means I, I need to like do right myself. So I like to write stuff on a notepad first. I have these like giant notepads and I basically break it up into the months of the year, you choose how many videos you want to do a month or a week. I would suggest doing a minimum of one video a week. When I first started my channel, which was in the baby niche, that grew quite quickly and got hundreds of thousands of views because I was doing videos sometimes twice a week, but I was definitely consistent with doing once a week. I also knew what that ideal client was actually searching for, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well or show you how I do it and that's how I kind of come up with my content okay so let's say that you are gonna do one video a week for the whole year you can do 90 days you can do six months in advance but for this video I'm gonna show you how to do a year's worth of content in just a short couple of hours. So grab your favorite drink and let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna make this much easier for you rather than thinking, oh my gosh, I need to come up with 52 video ideas if you're gonna do maybe one a week, right, for your channel. That sometimes could seem quite overwhelming. I know that it did for me. So I've come up with a couple of categories that I kind of fill in first before I even start coming up with video ideas. If you have have some video ideas that you know you want to do straight up jot those down often I will keep video ideas on the notes section in my phone so that when I'm thinking of things or when people are asking me questions I can jot them down and then go back to them and find them in one place on my phone but I have this giant notepad I love these giant notepads I start with the days of the year and so you can kind of come up with lots of days in the year that may be significant to your business or maybe Maybe just give you an idea on a theme for that day. So for example, we've got Valentine's Day on February 14th and I was thinking for that video I would come up with a video called 10 Reasons I Love YouTube for Business because a lot of people don't realize that YouTube is so good for business and when I usually explain why they're like oh my gosh. So 
that is going to be that idea. I know I'm in Australia, but I have a lot of people who watch my videos from the US and I was thinking of doing this on July 4th, Independence Day. I was kind of thinking I should do a collab video with a friend of mine, Sherry, who is in the US and we could do a video together. I don't know how we'll work it out, maybe side by side screen or something like that. So then I got an American in my video <laughs> and I was also thinking for Mother's Day, I might come up with you know mums who are making it on YouTube that you need to follow for your business I thought that would be a really cool one as well you know maybe for like International Cat Day it might not be that I'm necessarily going to be talking about cats but I might just put my cat and I might just wear this little headband while I'm doing the video so it doesn't really mean you have to do a video specifically for that day it could just give you a theme for the video so when you have a look at your calendar go fill in those days and that might mean that now I have say February I have one video for Valentine's Day and then I also decided to come up with another video that is a frequently asked question which is going to be my next category and it's called how to create a successful YouTube channel so that's already two videos that I've come up with in February and I only need to come up with two more for July my birthday is also in July so I'm gonna do something around my birthday and then like I said 4th of July so that's already two ideas that I've come up with for July so that'll be only another two more than I need to come up with oh my god okay let's go back to this the next thing that you want to do is your frequently asked questions I think you should come up with 10 and I'm pretty sure you could probably come up with 10 questions that you get asked or that are asked in your niche so to give an example in my niche a lot of people say how do I start a YouTube channel how do I set up my channel properly how long should my videos be how do I make money from YouTube and so I know that I'm definitely gonna do videos on those specific topics the next thing that I will do is come up with trends. Now, this might come up throughout the year. This not, might not be something that you can do right now. But to give an example, a while ago, I did a video on some YouTube monetization changes that was coming up. And so that kind of was a trending topic in my niche. So I went and did a video on that. Also, a trend that's happening at the moment is a lot more people are working from home. They're using video conferencing services like Zoom. I might do some videos on those specific topics because I know people are looking for that stuff. I actually did a video on creating a home office in a bedroom and I've had lots of people watch that one. I'm going to do a video on backgrounds for Zoom or video conferencing services. The next topic you can see here is other leaders. So the easiest way to go do this is this. Okay, go to someone's channel. So let's say I'm gonna go to my friend Sherry's channel quick warning here this is not about copying other people's content this is looking at what types of videos are working for other people and then I want you to kind of take those topics put your spin on it or make it 10 times better let me show you okay you can see Sherry's channel here I'm gonna go to videos so just click over here and then if we go over to the side we can click sort by and then I'm going to sort by most popular and what I'm looking for is videos that are obviously her most popular videos but also ones that she hasn't done like seven years ago <laughs> as you can see here Sherry has a video on custom thumbnails and it has 128,000 views and it was only put up nine months ago now I can't actually remember if I've watched that video of Sherry's I'm not even sure that Sherry and I do our custom thumbnails the same. Nevertheless, I'm not going to go and watch that. I just wanted to take the idea that obviously a lot of people are looking on how to do that topic. I'm going to do some keyword research in a minute, which I will get into because that's really important. Basically, I'm going to show you how I do my custom thumbnails. So obviously there's a lot of people looking for that type of video. And the reason I can also tell because at the moment, Sherry has 13,000 subscribers, which is great, but her video has 128,000 views so a whole lot more views than subscribers that she has so I know that's probably a good topic to do so go have a look at people in your niche see what videos they're doing sort by their most popular videos and try and find as recent as possible as well and see if you can do your version of that video and of course the last one on this list is keyword research this is actually 
so nerdy, but I really like doing keyword research. I really get into this and I actually do it for a lot of people because I'm good at it and because I like doing it. But let me show you where to start. Have you guys ever been to this website called answerthepublic.com? You can put in your niche right here and find out what people are asking about that specific topic. Let's type in YouTube. Now it comes up with a whole lot of questions that people are asking about YouTube, how YouTube pays, how YouTube works, YouTube versus TikTok. So that could be a good video to do on YouTube versus TikTok for business. Another thing that I have on my browser is actually a thing called Keywords Everywhere. Um, you can add it as a little add-on to your browser. I think it's just for Google Chrome and I think you have to pay for it now, but it's really cheap. I think I paid like $10 or something like that to do, uh, I don't know, like 100,000 searches, which I think it took me like a year <laughs> to get through that many searches before. But basically when you're typing something in, let's look at another topic like gluten-free cooking okay so you go here and let's type in gluten free so normally most people you would type these and you would get youtube google is giving you these suggestions that all these things are what people are actually looking for look gluten-free cake 40 and a half thousand people are searching for this per month gluten-free banana bread 74,000 people are looking for that per month. But if you don't have the keywords everywhere tool, you can't actually see how many people are searching for it per month. But I can because I've included the keywords everywhere extension. Now I will put the link in the description below if you want to add that. Let's say I'm going to look up gluten-free banana bread because I love that. And I decided I wanted to look at this one Okay, so I've also got another little add-on here called TubeBuddy, which kind of gives me a summary of, you know, what tags she's using and things like that. Wow, that's really close. But those keyword research tools are a little bit too involved for the average person. So I want to share with you another tool that I use, which really plainly sets out it really visually. Like I'm a visual person. So now if you type in tracyrose.com forward slash keyword tool, or I'll put a link in the description below you will come to this. This is a really cool keyword finder. So let's type in gluten-free banana bread. Now this is a paid service, but let me just show you why I like this. So it's gonna give me like a real visual if something has like a red. See how here when I'm looking for easy gluten-free banana bread, if I click on that, see how when you type these in, it kind of gives you all these other cool ideas, but then it's also got some colors next to it here. This is showing you kind of how hard or easy it would be to rank for that keyword. So let's have a look for dairy-free banana bread. Well, that one is green, and so that's a little bit easier to rank for. So the more that it goes around on the scale, so as it goes higher, it will go red, and that's probably something that's gonna be really hard to rank for. So let's have a look at vegan oil-free banana bread. Like 470 people per month, type that in. <laughs> so gluten-free banana bread with oats. Let's look at that. 460 people search for that per month although it's still possible but there's probably a bit more competition as opposed to quinoa flour banana bread has about the same searches but is much easier to rank for I wouldn't get too stressed out about figuring out, oh, am I going to rank at the top for that or whatever. Just do your videos with the keywords in the title and in the description and in the actual content on topics or keywords that people are actually searching for. So those keywords or those keyword phrases are actually what people are typing in. The reason I like that tool is because what I do is I select some of those keywords and I put them into specific lists. Let's go back to search again and I'm going to do another topic. When we were doing my daughter's videos, she was doing lots of slime videos. So I'm going to type in the keyword slime and this helped us come up with some video ideas of what to do. Now, if you have a look here, 
you can see that the top word is slime and 2,330,000 people are searching for this topic per month. But as you can see, if I just did a video called slime, it will probably be hard to rank for because there's a whole lot of slime videos on YouTube. What I'm going to do here is click that and then I'm going to basically go down and click any of these that I want to have a look at. Fluffy slime, slime shop, snoop slime. Let me go have a look and see if there's any ones with green. Oh, here we go. Cloud slime. So there mustn't be that many videos on cloud slime I'm gonna look for all the ones that have green actually let's look at them this way okay so there's all the highest ones let's go down to the green ones okay here we go marshmallow slime black slime and like 2,300 people are looking for this dish slope slime la, la, la. <laughs> dish soap slime has 1200 people still looking for that perma types of slime that oh 4800 people are typing in the keyword types of slime glossy slime slime charms okay so i'm going to go down here and click add to list and i'm going to create a new list here and just call it slime research this is why this is easy guys when i go to my list now I've made a lot of lists because I do research for people but now I've come up with a list for slime which gives me heaps of ideas of what I can do videos on so say my daughter was doing her slime channel I would have suggested to her these are the topics that people are searching for I never told her what video she had to do I just were like hey lots of people are looking for this do any of these videos kind of inspire you do you want to do any of these and sometimes she wanted to do a video on what she wanted to do sometimes we followed a keyword from the results the ones that mum suggested with the good keywords are the ones that got thousands of views but she's just learning so she's now realized that and that's really cool but like I said in the start of this video I do think it's important that you do a real mix of what people are searching for especially in the beginning but you can sprinkle through other things that are maybe not a keyword that you're looking for but if you are super passionate about it you know what it will probably come through and get some traction anyway like it's important I think that you do videos on things that you find important or that you're passionate about as well because if you're just doing videos on things that you're like I think they should be doing maybe it's not as fun for you maybe you won't be as inspired to keep going and again consistency is really big on YouTube so does that give you some ideas on how to find out what people are searching for and what video topic ideas that you should do for your videos? I hope so. So what I want you to do now is go back to your calendar, whether it's on a big notepad like this or whether it's online. I'm going to transfer mine to online later, which is another video on how to organize things or have like online schedulers and planners and all that. Another video, okay? Basically, mark down that you want to have four videos for each month and then go fill in all the topics that you're going to do for the year. That will help you come up with 52 video ideas for the whole year and if you record a couple of videos each time that you have a recording session so that's your content then that will also help with your productivity so I hope this has helped you come up with a whole lot of content for video ideas for your YouTube channel for the next 12 months. It's not actually as hard as you think, is it? Sometimes I know we can get overwhelmed, even myself, or when you break it down into categories and then you have the days of the year and then you have your trending topic and then you look at what other leaders are doing and then you've done your keyword research oh my gosh you could come up with hundreds of video ideas and maybe you want to do two videos a week and that would really bump your channel up but again don't overcommit. do what you can do consistently now if you need more video topic ideas or you know title ideas for your videos i have some other cool videos specifically on this topic if you binge watch through my channel <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? You will never run out of ideas or topics to talk about on your channel that are specifically what your customer or your ideal client is looking for. YouTube is such a great way to build your business. I hope you keep going. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah. Yes.
Oh, Buddy came to say hi. Let me put these glasses on you, Buddy. Stay. Good boy. <laughs> oh, that's funny while it lasted.